Mm -hmm. The cheese man says, it's Wednesday here. Still Tuesday here. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, this was not in, planned. This was not like intended to be a live stream about this topic. But we got to talking about it today. Um, I actually sprung it on Aaron today. I surprised him with some thoughts and ideas. And so um, we were looking up stuff. And we were like, okay, we have to go live soon. But we were kind of involved in Pinteresting. And then I was like, you know, I bet you our followers and people who have been with our family for so many years would love to participate in some way and see what we're talking about and thinking about and give us some of their thoughts and ideas. So uh, very last minute decision, like, okay, let's go live and talk about wedding stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so uh, some people are probably confused. They're like, wait a minute, you guys are already married. We are, we're already married. Well, oh. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm already married. Uh huh. That's famous last words. What happened last time you took it off while washing your hands? Disappears. Yeah, where is it? Um, should I go? You I better. <laughs> so so I'm already married. I don't know what's going on with my husband. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys know that that we got married. Uh, back in December of 2021, December 22nd, 2021. Uh, we picked that day because it's a palindrome. <laughs> it's 12, 22, 21, because we're goofy like that. And uh, if you guys have not seen, there's a really cute video out there um, in which I look even larger than I am because it's on a, like a wide angle uh, GoPro lens. But Anna's wearing a GoPro on her head. And she has a video of our wedding when we got married in, in 2021. And it was just the three of us because it was like, you know, height of the pandemic. Um, we weren't going to put together a big ceremony and bring a bunch of people together to get sick. So Aaron and I and, and Anna, we all went to the city hall and that's how we got married. And it was very sweet. And it was, it was nice that it was just us. And, you know, we went home and had a really wonderful dinner together as a family. And we'll always have those memory found it. <laughs> um, but we have been planning since before we even got married to have a second wedding or a vow renewal or, or, or reception ceremony, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've been planning since the beginning to do that because neither of us have ever had a traditional wedding ceremony with the cake and the photos and the dancing and the dress and all of that mm -hmm. and the food. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us have done that. Um, and we want, you know, family to be able to uh, celebrate and, and enjoy uh, our marriage as well. So we originally were planning it for what was the original date? It was like 2022, right? I think May. No. Was it? It couldn't have been that soon. So we got married in 21. So maybe it was May of 23. I think it was May of 2023 that we were originally planning on doing it. And we ended up like, just stop. We just stopped the planning um, because it just didn't feel like we were ever going to get to the point where we were comfortable bringing everyone together. Um, but over the last six, eight months, we've been getting more and more comfortable and everybody's kind of settling into the new life that is, you know, what it is now. And I think it's time to start planning again. So I was thinking about it because last time we, we still couldn't figure out where we wanted to do it, how, where we were going to go, where all family could get to and what was going to be best for everyone. And cause we have family literally, it's like all four points of the map. <laughs> My dad's all the way up here. My mom's all the way down here. His mom's all the way over here. His dad's, you know, over here. So literally from all four corners. And um, I don't know. I was just thinking about it recently and thought, you know, it's time. I really, 
I really want to do this. I don't want to let it slip away. Um, we talked about doing it at the five-year mark, but, you know, I think people are getting older and I think it's something that, that we should, we should do. And I think it's, it's feeling better about, you know, getting everyone together. <clears throat> so I told Aaron that I think we should do it up in his neck of the woods where he came from. Um, I think it's a beautiful location. I think that will be easiest on his parents. Sorry, mom and dad, but his parents are 10 years older than you guys. Um, so I think we're going to, you know, lean that way. You guys can still get on a plane and travel. Um, they can too, but you know, it's, it's just harder. And also I was thinking timeline wise, I was looking at like the anniversary, you know how there's like an anniversary, um, theme for each year gift theme, right? Like year one is paper. what was it? paper? Was it? Um, and year two is cotton. I don't remember what year three is. But year four is fruit and flowers. And so I was thinking it might be kind of cool to do our vow renewal and wedding ceremony on our actual anniversary day um, or very close to it, like celebrating that fourth anniversary. We can, you know, fruit and flowers could be at a buffet table there. So that's our like anniversary gift. And um, it's close to Christmas, so we could go out there, have our celebration, spend Christmas with his family members, and then maybe go immediately um, to his dad's place in Hawaii for like a week honeymoon, you know, um, since we wouldn't take off by ourselves because of Anna and everything. So I don't know. That's that's kind of my thoughts. What did you think about that? I was surprised and I'm totally I think that's great I love it I love that idea how long did you think about this like how I mean because you couldn't have just thought of up up of it like on the spot I, mean, I think like I've, some components I think there. I've been thinking about parts and pieces of it over you know because I knew that at some point we were going to have to start planning again mm -hmm. Um, like I said, we, we were planning for five years, so I thought we had some time left, but um, I don't know, just we've been doing, a, we've been having a lot of intimate talks lately and discussions, and I feel like, you know, I feel like our relationship is shifting a bit, mm -hmm. like it's becoming a little bit more mature. Yeah. And do you feel that mm -hmm. way? Yeah. And um, I don't know. It just felt it just felt like the right thing. And um, this morning, I started thinking. I started envisioning location. Mm -hmm. So once that piece kind of fell into my head, I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring it up because I think it's time to start talking about it again. I think Miller so. has a good idea. Hmm. If Jamali's the ring bearer. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, we could definitely yeah, pull that off. And a ring bearer. Yeah, we could definitely. Well, we always. That, where's Anna's picture? Oh, yeah. Go grab her picture. We'll show you guys if you have. I know a lot of you have seen it, but Anna drew this picture. So before Aaron and I got married, like our actual wedding back in 2021, um, we did a live stream to announce our engagement to you all. And what we did for that live stream was Aaron and Anna drew a picture together on the live. And so it was very on the fly. There was no like real discussion beforehand other than draw this scene. And, and this was long before Jamali was ever in the picture. Anna knew she was getting a service dog, but she had no idea what kind of dog, what color dog, anything about the dog. And so during the live stream, if you guys haven't seen it, you can go back and watch it. Um, during the live stream, Aaron and Anna drew a picture of us getting married. And then at the end, we held it up and like, hey, guys, we're getting married, right? Um, so anyway, this is the picture that they, he just drew himself. But Anna drew me and herself and her service dog. 
So you can see. Um, predicted. It still gives me goosebumps that mm. she put a black dot. Why? Well, uh, for yeah. you if know, anything we would I would have thought maybe like a like a yellow lab or golden retriever. Yeah, because because we knew that four paws mostly had golden retrievers and labs, and they're not typically black. So this this whole thing just gives me goosebumps, but you can see that they've always planned on maybe it looks like Jamelli's the flower yeah. girl and Anna's the ring bearer, but <laughs> either way, um, interchangeable. It's it's That's been <laughs> it's been written in the stars yeah. for a while. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, I wanted to look at some things with you guys because Aaron and I were talking, like I said before the live about ideas um, for what kind of, I was like, well, what kind of theme do you want for this? And we're like, do we want to do like an eighties theme? <laughs> Cause we're not, we're neither one of us are very, we're not very formal. Um, should we do a like vintage theme? Um, what was it that you said? Rustic. Yeah, like a rustic theme. Thank you, Sharon, for the super sticker. Um, so I think we ended up talking about like we ended up talking about like a fantasy theme, right? I think you guys have seen these days the uh let's see, fantasy theme wedding. I'm gonna share my screen in a minute here so you guys can see what we're looking at. But I'm sure many of you have seen these days that the fantasy kind of theme stuff has all of these fairy lights see candles fairy lights um lanterns now this i saw this while we were looking through stuff i love this i don't know what exactly this is but i love it <laughs> This this uh, forest, like little trees on the tables in the middle kind of thing. I love that. It looks like a little manzanita uh, branch to me. It is so cute. Um, because we're going to be indoors, clearly, if we're doing um, Bay Area in the winter. <laughs> it's We're not going to be able to do outside. Thank you, Sarah, for the super sticker. Uh, so it's going to be indoors and I just think that's so cute. Yes. With little fairy lights. Yes. Susan, tiny fairy lights on the tiny trees on the tables. I really love that. Um, the other thing, let me show you guys some stuff that I already had last when we were talking, when we were wedding planning back in, back in, uh, 2021, I had already, figured out like what I want my dress to look like. I already have my ring, so we don't have that expense. <laughs> um, oh, where'd it go? Wedding stuff? No, that's not right. This is a shopping list. Hold on. Here we go. Wedding stuff. Okay. So I had already, this is what I want to do for my dress. Why do I keep pushing the wrong thing? I want to do something like this. I don't want an all white. I want to do a white that goes into an ombre effect at the bottom that turns blue. Kind of like, I like this, like a lighter blue better. But kind of like an ocean looking. You're coming out of the waves or something. Yeah, like this. I like this one because it's it's got the different color blues in it. What do you guys think about that? And and then Aaron, he doesn't want to do like a full tuxedo, which is fine with me. So we were thinking more like a casual uh, pants and blazer jacket and, that would match the color of the blue with a white shirt. I, I I really still love that. So it would have to be custom made. So that, of course, that makes the dress a little pricey, but yeah. And then as far as like dress designs, I don't know because 
I don't know what my body is going to look like. And I've never been a big dress person. I've actually never worn that many dresses in my life at all. So I have no idea. Um, I usually shy away from dresses because I don't like the way I look in them. So I have no idea what kind of dress I'm going to be comfortable in, what kind of dress I'm going to feel like I look beautiful in. I guess I'll have to figure that stuff out a little bit later. You look great. Whatever you decide. <laughs> Definitely no heels. I know. I can tell yeah. you that. I'm wearing some kind of sneakers. <laughs> sneakers. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Or sandals, but it's going to be cold, yeah. so I'll probably do sneakers. Yeah. I'll probably just do white sneakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael says Star Wars wedding. Star Wars wedding. <laughs> I could, I could be, I could, I could be okay with some Star Wars stuff if it's subtle. Like, don't they do like? I don't know if this is really necessary. It seems like they they keep adding in more and more traditions for weddings. But I heard that they do like some kind of groom's cake. What's that? I guess the groom gets his own cake. Oh, if does it just like because it tastes good? And doesn't look fancy or is it also a fancy looking i don't thing? know i don't know why the groom did anybody know why the groom gets his own cake now but you could do a star wars cake thank you jeanette for the super get, sticker but i would have i would get it might be star wars theme but it, it would be a princess cake that's my favorite kind of cake princess cake inside mm -hmm. what is princess cake it's like it's kind of got marzipan on the outside and it's kind of got like a, a cream layer and a little like jam layer and a white cake kind of denise says it's just so they have more cake to eat <laughs> <laughs> you can never have enough cake um yeah we could do we could do a star wars cake Wait. star wars princess cake a princess leia cake star <laughs> I, That's it. <laughs> I want to see i want to see what pinterest has has for um, thanks Lori. star wars cakes it's probably going to be like kids it's like the death star kids birthday cakes though yeah. we need this we need a star wars wedding cake or star wars groom's cake oh, like wedding cakes too much hey, look, no that's great did you see that no that's pretty cool did i miss something yeah. here's look at that one yeah that one r2 wearing a Oh yeah, with the with the toppers. Yeah, and look at you can see all the ships and everything on the. Oh yeah, side they're flag. white. That's, That's cool. Really cool. Look at this crazy thing up here. With <laughs> and... Whoa, what's happening here? Oh, they're coming <laughs> out of the cake. Look at it, babe. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Ah, look here's another one. I like that where like part of the cake, that would be a good compromise. Instead yeah. of having two cakes, part of the cake could be Star Wars theme. Yeah. And when you cut into that part, it's princess cake. Right. And then the other part of the cake could be like the more classic wedding cake. That's cute. I like that. And it could also like this one incorporate our blue color. Oh, yeah. So it would match our outfits. Because who doesn't want their cake to match their outfits right. when they're doing cake eating pictures, right. right? What is this one? Oh, that's a Harry, Harry Potter. Oh. And Star Wars. What? And superheroes. Oh, that's all kinds of too much Just stuff. Too much. Too much. Just that's overkill. Pick, pick, pick one, one uh, Disney property. One. See, that's like how I want my dress to look, but upside down. Oh, yeah. Other way. Uh-uh. So definitely Star Wars cake is the thing. <laughs> um, let's see. Darth Vader cake with red velvet ice cream. <gasps> the wedding party songs list. Okay. You know what? Honestly, Michael, now that you mentioned that, it jogged my memory. That's what got me thinking about it this morning. What? Songs. Okay. Because our song is um, Sailing by Christopher Cross. So that's like definitely going to be our wedding song. But I think the song that I want, but that's not really like a slow dancing mm. song. So the song that I want to dance to, um, I think, I mean, and obviously you have some input, but is the, um, oh, I just posted it today. You guys saw it in Mighty Networks. It's, uh.
this one the jason moran oh yeah so that's a good song I yeah that song. yeah i think that would be a good dan dance song you guys know that one it's i won't give up by jason moran that's a really nice song who wants this is once you wear some converse sneakers yeah <laughs> I, mean, I could some some chuck taylor's whatever's comfortable Michael says a baby blue. Show them the tux. Michael says a baby blue sleeveless tux for Aaron. Show them. The this is what he showed me when we were talking about the the blue suit. He said he he was gonna do this. It made me laugh. Um. Nope, we're not frozen. I don't think we're frozen. What else? What else should yes. I look up? This is this is what this is what he's trying to say. Hey. <laughs> I, I can wear this. <laughs> <laughs> you know when when you, you you got married and you were wearing whatever the cool popular thing was at the time. Yeah. But like now, like you look five, ten years later, like, oh yeah, you definitely got married in the eighties, or you definitely got married in the seventies, or that was definitely an a, a early 2000s style. Gail says, Gail says, are you going to use the sailing song? Yeah, but but not for, I don't think for our first dance song. Maybe we could use sailing for when we're walking down the aisle. Yeah. We don't have to have traditional yeah. walking down the aisle wedding music. Or when we leave that area to go to the reception area or something. Denise says that's an 80s talk. <laughs> James says it needs more ruffles. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie says hard no on the suit. <laughs> so he's like, no. <laughs> Mary, that's what we just talked about. Our special song, like our first dance song. We would probably, I think it sounds like we would use the Jason Mraz um I won't give up song. But our song is sailing, but it's just not really good for a first dance song. Pete says it looks like a leisure suit. <laughs> that's pretty close. Cindy though. says, no, Aaron. <laughs> Andy says you can do the same date in December. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about like maybe not exactly on our anniversary date since it's a Monday, but maybe the day before, the Sunday before. House slippers. Yeah, I could do. We could do slippers too. Um, Jennifer says my daughter walked to her and her husband's favorite song. Yeah, we don't. There is nothing traditional about our <laughs> about <laughs> us being married. Like, you know, we came to it later in life and everything. So, um, we can do whatever we want. You don't have to follow any kind of tradition. I don't think we're going to have a big wedding party. I don't think we're going to have a big crowd. Um, I think it's going to be a very small. I think we'll we'll get video and pictures um you know we probably would do we probably would do a live at some point just to bring you guys in probably not during the the main event but during the reception, uh, during the reception. Yeah. but other than that i think it would be a smaller private ballet slippers yeah gail says my daughter's getting married in october in a state park and then going on an 80 foot schooner 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 set what do they look like just a sailboat, basically. What else do you want to look up, babe? Give me some ideas. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta Pinterest things. Yeah, see, see. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's like like an old, old time. Like like Princess Bride or something. Yeah. What else do you, do we have? So so what are all the things that we have to think about the dress? I told him we should make a list of all the things that we have to think about so that we can prioritize what we want to put the most money into and what we don't want to put as much money into because we can't spend a lot of money. <laughs> We're not rich. I know. We just got our taxes back. We are not rich. <laughs> um, not rich at all. So uh, you have to get the dress and the suit and anna needs a really fancy dress maybe she could have something that's kind of a play off of your dress or something yeah 
Yeah, maybe like, like she can mini, have a flipped. Mini made dress, dress or something. <laughs> like maybe a flipped version where it's blue on top and it goes to white at the bottom. Cool. Yeah. Um, cake, yes, cake and food. Of course, we gotta we gotta have good food. Uh, DJ photographer. I heard that flowers are one of the most expensive things. So that's why I kind of really like the um, little trees and the more woody, like, like my, I don't want big, fluffy, expensive roses and crazy, fancy, um, like what would be a blue, green, woody theme flower bouquet? Something with just like baby's breath or... <clears throat> See, I don't even want, I don't even want these big flowers. What are all these? Anyway, some of, them look artificial. Wild flowers. some of them are, they do that a lot these days. Women will get like, um, artificial bouquets so they can hang on to them. Like this is pretty. Yeah, it's, it's kind of wild flowery. Yeah. Let me show you guys this. I like, I would like flowers more something like this rather than. The traditional, like, and not even that many, but just something more small and subtle. Not, not anything. See, this, this is all too much. I like these. What are these? I like these green things that just opened up a whole new website. Okay, then. Um, what's this? Eh, see, even that's too much. Too many big flowers. I don't know. I don't see it here. What's this? <gasps> yeah, something kind of like more like that. Right? Yeah, it's nice. It looks like wild flowers. Do you like it? Yeah. Are you are you down with that color theme? Yeah. I, you know, I'm blue is my color. I love blue. Yeah. I'm, 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 and I like green. That's yeah. why I wear blue and green. Yeah. I'm totally on board. Hmm. This is cool. We gotta we gotta look up one of those like planner things to figure out what order we're supposed to be doing stuff in. Right. And, and venue, yep, the venue, clothes, cake, table setting. Oh, I didn't even think about table setting. Music, wildfires. We don't want to hire a wildfire for our wedding. That doesn't sound so like it's a good wildfire. A forest fire? I don't think they allow that in California. Think... All the fires. fires. I don't know. I don't know. Jennifer said you can make that for forty dollars from Hobby Lobby. I that's good. I'm fine with that. They put their flowers fifty percent off every other week. I yeah, I'm good with. I I'm happy to put together flower bouquets myself. Cause I, cause I don't, I wouldn't want like flowers everywhere. I like the fairy lights I do too. or like yeah. the, the string lights. Mm -hmm. I think those are really pretty. Um, yeah, for talk, we do need a good videographer and photographer. That's something I want to put good money into because, um, that's important to me. I don't want crappy photos. I don't take crappy photos. I don't want to get crappy photos. Um, Melissa says my daughter got married last October and she had white roses with baby's breath and then sent the bouquet to someone that who dried the flowers and is making ornaments and jewelry from it for, oh, oh that's cool we could turn our bouquet yeah. into a Christmas tree ornament for our family yeah, tree really cool like inside the ball have all the pieces oh Alex, Alex says, if you fly me in, I'll do your wedding photos for free. Alex has been trying to pin me down for a photo shoot for like four years now. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to do it back in Michigan and it never happened. Um, Maybe Alex might take you up on that. It's going to be indoors though. It's not going to be outdoor shooting. Cool. It might be cool to use bonsai trees for centerpieces. As a nod to Aaron's heritage. Okay. It might be cool. It might be expensive. Bonsai, good, like real bonsai trees. Like those, they have like, 
years of caretaking behind them. They're really like, um, what would you call it? They're, they're sentimental pieces, right? To people who, I mean, they have them at, at the botanical gardens in Ann Arbor. And I remember reading that yeah, they're, just, they're really cherished. They're super old. Just been, you know, painstakingly pruned and. Yeah. Pruned. Honestly, I would be afraid that someone would accidentally damage one or hurt one or something. Um, and I don't, I've never seen a fake bonsai tree. I said I meant wild flowers, not fire. <laughs> That's a big difference, yeah. <laughs> wild flowers I can get by. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes, yeah, cool. Do you think we can pull it off? It's like 18 months, you guys. Do you think we can pull it off? 18 months. I don't want to get I don't want to get into this and then and then have to pull out again. Yeah. Like some people think that we're not married. We are very much married. Yeah. We just never had a, a ceremony other than at the courthouse. Yeah. <laughs> 18 months is easy. It feels a little overwhelming. I broke down the math of it and I'm like, okay, if everything costs this amount of money, then we have to like save or spend around like a thousand dollars a month between now and then. And that seems like a lot. I don't have an extra thousand dollars a month laying around. So it's kind of, I know you don't have to like spend it all at once and some things later are going to require bigger bucks and you can do some things now for less, but any tips you guys have for yeah, what little, yeah, what little reducing expenses and tips and ideas. Like I know one of the first things that you're supposed to do is send out a save the date to everyone that you're planning on inviting. So what, what tips do you guys have for reducing the save the date expenses? Cause I know I can go online and I can easily spend $300 on having someone print up and mail them out and keep track of who's coming and all this, that, and the other. But, um, Ooh, that's a good question. I says, how are you going to choose a venue from Florida? I think, well, I mean, like we can get people to scope stuff out in my neck of the woods. Yeah. I think that we have eyes and, and feed on the ground in the area. And I think that we're also not crazy. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to speak for you, but for me, I'm not really like super obsessed with the venue. As long as it has the space and it looks nice and it can be decorated how we want it. And it has like a good view. Like I'm not worried about it being some crazy fancy expensive um you know what i mean yeah like i don't think we need much out of a, a venue if we're going to be doing the decorating yeah that's true now if the venue was like oh we we come ready to go like this is how we decorate and you pay for that and everything is already set up and you don't have to worry about tearing it down then i could see that being more of a splurge mm -hmm. and and then i could see that requiring more discernment but i don't think a lot of places do that mm -hmm. tina says wedding websites are the thing now well let me know which ones i will i will look them up i think we have an account we have an account from before i forget which website it's the on knot. Not so. oh the knot is that where ours is or oh that's mm -hmm. what Annette says Kristen says, I bought wedding invitation kits complete with thank you cards at Michael's with coupons. We printed them at home. They were nice and looked professional. Okay. Jennifer says, if it's just very close family and friends, don't waste money on save the date. That's true. We could yeah. just text everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, text it. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, put this date aside. We're going to be, yeah. What else do you guys want to? Oh, Tara says make all the flowers Lego flowers. No, that <laughs> that would get that would take a while. 
It would be cute mm -hmm. though. Those those um uh cherry blossoms that I did are very yeah. cute. They're very cute. I could see and the 3D vases oh, yeah. as the centerpiece on all the tables. I really like those trees. Maria says, my nephew got married on the beach in Kissimmee. I came down and made their cake. Wow. Yeah, we could make our own cake. I don't know how well, <laughs> how well yeah. it would turn, yeah. turn yeah. out, but it would be fun. It would be memorable. I don't know if we could make a big enough thing, though. You don't think? I've decorated many cakes. I did did all of Anna's first birthday cakes, and they turned out really nice. But I mean, uh, don't you have to make it big? Because there's going to be a, it's not just ten people; it's going to be fifty people. You doubt? You you doubt you how you doubt us? We could do it. <laughs> yeah, you do have to make it big. But there's there's like, um, haven't you ever watched the cake baking shows? There's like paper towel tubes that go in the middle that help support it and yeah the food i think the food will be one of the biggest expenses for sure nancy says get your cake by telling them it's not for a wedding it'll be a lot cheaper oh thank you lisa that's what i was i was kind of picturing in my mind this morning um Aaron in his little suit outfit and me in my dress. We've never, <laughs> we've never even danced. We've never danced, you guys. We've never, we've only been on one date. <laughs> <laughs> we've only ever had one date and, and one, we got what we got married at the courthouse. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we've never gone dancing. I don't even know if I know how to dance. Really? I mean, not formally. Oh yeah. Well, like I can, I, I can that. sway around, but <laughs> <laughs> we've never done it. Get up and practice. No. Are you planning to be there for a week or more prior to the wedding? Yes, because um, we would want to visit people. And uh, my friend is a musician and she plays at one of the local venues and she plays typically every year right before Christmas. So I would want to go see her show and then we would have our ceremony and then we would, we would stick around and celebrate Christmas. And then I think we would go, go to Hawaii for a week. So we'd probably be there for like, we'd probably be gone all told for something like two and a half weeks. Maybe three. <laughs> Hope that they are, they'll all be on diets and it won't cost that much for food. No, Amy, not in, not in a church. We would just hire someone to do the thing at the location. It's not even an official wedding. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're already married. It's just a vow renewal. I don't even know if we need to hire someone to do the thing. Do we really even need a thing? Can't we just stand up in front of everyone and read vows and call it a day? Yes. We're not, it's not anything legal. So like we're already legally married. So we don't even need to do all of that. I don't think we could just, we could just read our, 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 our vows and have family speak and that would be it. Could have Anna give a speech. Yeah. She'd probably give a good speech. I don't know. <laughs> that might be scary. Save the date was never a thing 30 years ago. It's just an extra expense. Yeah. Just a reception, no ceremony. Yeah, I mean, we can do, you know, a little bit of ceremonial kind of things at the reception, but we don't have to have a separate ceremony and reception. You're right. It is really just a big party. That's really all it is. It's just a party. I mean, if we want to do like the pictures of us walking down the aisle together and, you know, standing in front of someone. And I guess that's what we have to decide if we yeah. want that. Yeah. What, what, what kind of documentation is necessary? Like what, what are the photos? 
What do you mean? Like what do we like? What do we? What do we want to do so that that pictures or videos taken of those things? Yes. What scenes do we want to capture? Yeah. yeah exactly. That'll determine where what. Yeah. How. Definitely. Susie says, I had a wedding after I was already legally married. We served cake and champagne, coffee and milk for the kids. It isn't about the food. It's about the people. <laughs> but the people want to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> the people want to eat. <laughs> and I understand that. It, I think it'd be great to sit down and share a meal. Although I don't want to have, I wonder if there's, I don't know. I want to have everybody at like separate tables because that. Well, you have to if there's 50 people. I don't think there's... Maybe there won't be... Maybe, maybe if there's less people, we don't have to. Maybe we could find, like, a big giant square table. <laughs> <laughs> I would print out a certificate of marriage so you all have a keepsake for the day. Yeah, I mean, we do have one. We do have our actual certificate. Anna and Jamali walking down the aisle would be neat to see. Yeah, it'd be fun. A buffet is more fun. Uh, it's also more germs. Have a family member get ordained. They can do the ceremony. I, I know I have people in my family that are ordained. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. Let's see what else. So venue, dress, cake. We looked up cake stuff. We skipped reception gifts for guests to cut funds. Yeah, we definitely don't need any gifts. Because We're going to tell yeah. people, don't don't well, give us any gifts. We're going to be on the road, too. So, like, well, how am I going to bring all that crazy well, stuff? And we're not making a home together yeah. for the first time. So we don't yeah. need anything. Like, literally, we don't need anything. Definitely signing a marriage certificate is a picture you might want. Um, James says, book your travel as soon as possible since it'll be Christmas time. Well, this is 18 months out. But yeah, you're right. A lot of people might be traveling around that time. I was thinking it would be less expensive because it's Christmas time. And um, the only people that are going to be traveling are people that are going home for like, I don't think there would be a lot of weddings around Christmas time. I could be wrong, but it seems like it would be, although the venues might be booked up for Christmas parties. Christmas parties. So yeah, that's the venues, probably something that we want to, Secure. Secure as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. You don't need someone ordained. You're already legal. Yeah. Don't have seating. Let them sit where they want. Yeah. Isn't that weird when you show up and you have assigned seating and you're like, you're like, oh, I'm sitting next to these people. Many venues don't allow bride and groom to decorate. If you want to serve food, you have to order their food. That's a good thing to keep an eye out for. If, mm -hmm. if they have their own food that you have to buy from, or if they require you to get it catered from specific places. Um, I don't want to make the food. We're definitely going to buy food. But decorations, people don't like assigned seating. I know. Why do we do it? <laughs> no, so probably like family politics. If you've got like a huge, why don't put Uncle Bill near, you know, Kelly because, you know, they're going to get into it. <laughs> Charlotte says, are you planning on writing your own vows? I, doesn't everybody, isn't that no. what most people do? No. What do you mean, no? Some people just have the stuff that the read out of the, you know, like what, what the read out of the, the book that the ministers. Oh. I mean, that's a. Not I everybody. thought that's what we were going to be doing yeah. is, is yeah. reading our own. 
right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we should approach it like a party. And, and we should probably advertise it as a party too, because I think you guys are right. When you, as soon as you say wedding, people, the, the, the ding, 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 <laughs> like all the money in the eyes and the, and people just start charging more. It's kind of like, kind of like when you, when you need something for, um, I don't know, there's other examples they do at other times, like kid stuff is more expensive than. The kid shampoo is more expensive than regular shampoo, even though it's the same thing kind of deal. You can write each other's vows. What? That would be weird. Don't get into dinners. Just do a buffet like sandwiches and salad. Mm, I don't know. What do you think about that? What are you thinking for, for food? Do you want to do like a nice sit down dinner? Yeah. With appetizers? Yeah. yeah I think we would do a dinner for I sure. I mean, when I go to a wedding, I'm excited that I'm happy for the people that are getting wet and married. But I'm really, I'm looking forward to the food too. That's, <laughs> so if I'm thinking of like how I think. Do you think we could get away since neither of us drink with not doing alcohol though? Yeah, let's see why not. Just have, we could have nice foo foo drinks, but without the alcohol. Yeah. We could have a bartender who makes like non alcoholic fancy drinks, daiquiris, and spritzers. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be okay, right? Yeah. That would save a lot I mean, of money. for me, I, I, but I, I don't I mean, maybe you do, you have that, but then they have to pay for that, but non alcoholic, so you, not, non alcoholic drinks, then is on. Um, us, I don't know. Yeah, or we just do like wine during dinner or something where it's very like limited and mm -hmm. because it's, I don't I don't know it's not it's not really I don't look at a wedding as a place where you're supposed to be it's Get not trash. a bar <laughs> <laughs> like I can see having like one drink maybe two but <laughs> why would you want to have any more than that and anybody who says. But they're not certain drinks. I ain't going. That's not the type of person you probably want to be drinking. At yeah, like this is, we're not getting together to to lush out, and and I don't I don't know that we would even would we I don't know that we would do a whole like into the wee hours of the morning type right. party anyway. Right. Tina says I'll come be your mixologist for the evening. <laughs> That's what we should do. We should have we should have a bunch of our our friends from over the years come. People can come do different. Sharon could come cook for us. <laughs> <laughs> Alex can come do pictures. <clears throat> Tina can come do drinks. Come on, you guys. What else do you got? <laughs> How many florists are out there? <laughs> Anybody a a, a tailor, <laughs> a seamstress? <laughs> Can you make an ombre dress? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just we'll just have all of you. You can be guests. We'll feed you. We'll hang out. <laughs> um, <laughs> anybody have a really fancy, nice house in the Bay Area to put up for <laughs> a venue <laughs> with a beautiful backyard view of the ocean? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I believe you, Tina. I, I totally, I mean, I'm seriously thinking about taking you guys up on these offers. <laughs> <coughs> It'd be fun. <laughs> Lita says you can get a pretty ombre dress from Timu, but it's, but it's gonna be like this, this big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already plus size. I don't think a dress from Timu is going to fit me. They're all like sized for like tiny little Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, if you want to come to the, yeah, we're coming to the Bay Area. That's what we're planning on doing this. So listen, did you get, you must have gotten in late. So check this out. You're going to be the most interested. Um, you know, we're going to be in Aaron's old stomping grounds for this. But I want to do it on our actual or right around our actual anniversary. And I told him, I said, one of the conditions is that we're going to get there probably around like, 
I don't know, the 15th, 16th of December. And I said, we have to go to Cynthia's show because <laughs> I haven't been yet to it. So I said, that's one of the things we have to do while we're in town. And then we'll have our, our ceremony, celebration, party, whatever. And then we'll hang out um, with his family, his mom's there and stuff for Christmas. And then we'll go to Hawaii to hang out with his dad for our honeymoon. So yeah, that's the idea is we'll be in, in that area for um, at least a week and a half, not two weeks. So yeah. And I mean, Aaron knows of places in the area too, but yeah, we're looking for a venue in that general area. So we'll get to hang out. No, not this year. It, it It's like 18 months. It'll be like, and it'll be our fourth, fourth anniversary. So end of next year, because this stuff is expensive <laughs> and everybody's got to plan travel and stuff. So yeah, next year, 2025 here. Yeah. So it's got to happen. We got to do it. I We're going to, we're going to do it. We'll get some, we'll get some VIP tickets and <laughs> hang out with you guys after the show. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'm thinking because the 22nd is actually a Monday. So we'll probably do Saturday or Sunday, the 20th or 21st. And she usually goes on somewhere between the 18th and the 22nd, right? Hopefully she, so if she, if she does Saturday, the 20th, then we'll have to, we'll definitely have to do our party on the, on the 21st. So it doesn't conflict. <laughs> Oh, she's doing it after Christmas? I thought it was before Christmas. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to adjust. We'll adjust schedule accordingly. I'll message her and be like, when okay, one when are you doing this? In 2025. I have to Not plan, 2024. I have to plan my 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 wedding party around your show. So you gotta pick a date now. <laughs> Just ask Bob. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool if you could play there. Maria says, idea for your cake. Do one round cake on top of a cupcake tower. Oh, so like we get the top part to cut and everybody else gets cupcakes. That's a cute idea. Yeah. I like that. <gasps> what if they made a cupcake tree? that looked kind of like a bonsai tree, but it was made out of cupcakes. And the base of it was our, our like wedding cake that we cut, but all of the branches were like cupcakes that pe cupcakes people, people could take the cupcakes off. That would be cool. Susie says, why not have it during the week? It'll save a lot of money because people work. And generally that, that that's a lot to ask of people to, take time off of work and and re rearrange their schedule and their kids school and everything so lots of crafty people here yeah you guys <laughs> keep keep the comments coming definitely let me know your ideas and things that you've done um i'll write them down we'll be we'll be keeping keeping all this stuff together for planning we should go anna's gotta get ready oh, for yeah, bed but okay, well, this is exciting. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun, fun talking to you guys about this stuff. It's a, lot, a lot of ideas were we would have never thought of. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry to any family members who see this before we get a chance to talk to you. We talked to you guys before our family. <laughs> we're just like, hey, we have this idea. Let's let's talk about it. Well, these guys are like our family. So. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Joseph, you tell send me send me links for bakers in the bay area i will definitely uh follow up with them and see what they've got going on thank you yeah i'm excited pete says have you asked anna about her ideas not yet we gotta sit down we'll, we're gonna, sure we're she's gonna got some. <laughs> we'll sit down and have a meal and and talk to her about it all so doing everything backwards <laughs> all right guys we're gonna go for now um subs we'll see you tomorrow for sub lives uh wednesday 
and um, everybody else, if we don't see you on sub live, we'll see you Friday for our next live stream. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for your, your thoughts and ideas. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.